Thank you very much uh, for attending this uh, press uh, briefing, uh, which I called so that I think a number of issues would be clarified. Uh, first of all, let me make it very clear that it, it seems that uh, the women when they speak about the abuse, we all pay attention to them. And yet, we also do not think that there are two sides to a story. And unfortunately, uh, it's difficult for married women to speak. You must understand that. And I think for a very long time, it's an old profession within certain women of blackmailing men for various reasons, especially those who are married. Uh, infidelity is an ongoing profession which will started before you and I were even born. And it will not end. In fact, you now have a situation worldwide where other people and other women find a mistress for their husbands, a mistress for their husbands. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to say uh, it's good or it's wrong, but life is changing. The same way that uh, men lawfully can marry more than one wife. So at times, uh, we also forget that women can also throw themselves at men. And we seem not to look at that side. We also do not seem to accept that women abuse men, both physically, sexually. The boy child is abused every day. So the effects that the women, the girl child also experiences, the boy child and the men also experience. There are women, men who are beaten up by women, but they don't speak because of the issue of ego. You can't amongst your friends say, Nagaroa, that's your name is my own. Even if we black out and Nagadon. So we need to draw the line, and I think this Susan Mutami issue is an issue which, if anything, <coughs> exposes quite a lot of our society, who we are as a people. I was intimately involved with Susan, and no one questions that. It was a choice, but I also got out of it much quicker. Like any other relationship, if you believe this is not the direction you get out of it. But a lot was said, and I'm not one who is for anybody to be abused. Let's get this correct. I don't believe anybody is subject to being abused. But if it's women, the whole world comes to a halt. If it's a boy, child, or man, no one comes to hold. The issue is abuse, and abuse in any form is not at all something that I support. In fact, the law must take its course. It's the same thing as the government not being happy with certain NGOs. They believe that there are money laundering, there is a lot of illegal activities happening, but we've got laws to deal with money laundering. We've got laws to deal with fraud. So you don't have to change the whole bill <laughs> to come up with a law to deal with uh, certain issues happening which are covered by the law. So you must then use the law itself to deal with issues. So I think it's a case-by-case -case issue. Let me make this clear. I, I, I have no brief from anyone. And I've made it very clear that uh, 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 I pushing for an agenda of national interest, an agenda of also highlighting the fact that men and the boy child is being abused. 
And that's what Susan has brought to us. But there's going to be evidence. For us to spend three hours on Twitter space, listening to somebody when you have no evidence, and journalists have two sides to a story. And there's no story that I saw which says, but the other side, we've tried to contact them and they've not responded. So it then becomes political. It's a, it's a politically driven agenda. You see, it's a system you go Akira Mazimbabwe, it's go Akira Nyan. Go Akira Nyan, I pass now. Man, you want to watch any other news? I think I could, ah, maybe the president, you don't like him in terms of the way he's running the country. That's separate. Spend three hours that you spent listening to Susan to think register to vote and deal with the democratic issues when election time comes. But because they are not happy with the way he's running the country, you then don't come up with a lot of uh, issues which are not credible. The way it is credible. And is the individual credible? So to me, it's very important for us to be very clear that I hold no brief from anyone. I am here as a legislator, and I've realized that polarization is too much. It must stop. We must be able to dissect. We must be able to separate issues. You can't just be in anything, and it does not do us good as a people. Who won't? Where is it? You cannot have little girls whose profession is well known, just getting up, speaking from nowhere, I was abused, this and that, I was young, this and that, and so forth. And you're talking about this years later. So if it is that you want to expose this person who abuses, why don't you do it earlier? So while you were on sabbatical leave, how many other people have fallen victims? So how sincere are you about addressing the issue of abuse? Any second you delay, we had statistics in Parliament where there were what, uh, what were the statistics? Usually my memory is correct in Parliament, if you remember, about rape, is it 72 raped per day or 21 per day? And that is statistic of the number of women who are raped per day. So the issue is to deal with the perpetrators and you deal with them on time. So how sincere are you about being abused by somebody who you still go and see face to face? Where is the trauma? You have been raped. That's the reason why I am clear about the amnesty which was given to Kerek, that it was wrong. Because the, the girls that fell victim to him are destroyed for the rest of their lives. No one spoke about that. No women spoke about that. No women have driven the point that whoever rapes must never be given amnesty. Because they will go and do the same. Whether it was a political move or not, he was told that we'll give you amnesty and be quiet. But my point is that here is a rapist who has been released. <clears throat> He's now going to rape more. So I'm giving an example of Kerek at the end of the day whose amnesty he got. No one said anything. But the persons that were fell victims are injured. They are destroyed for the rest of their lives. I have 14 girls, beautiful girls, who I would never want them to experience anything like that. So one of them is a father. Hami is a legislator. Hami is a brother. I've got sisters. But let's not also create a culture of falsehoods. The credibility of the person is critical. The very same person told you she was expecting twins. Put the twins on Twitter again. But today there's one and there's no other twin. And that's the very same person who is talking about these issues of abuse. There is a question mark. When I bring up Nyadze, Hapana no doubt. Can I tell you now that too? Hapana can bring back the Kanama Oko. Saka Mumu, Ongo Fa, Pasna can report. 
So what have I decided to do? I've decided to write to the very same police station as of Monday, filing a report wanting to know where my child is. Against Susan Intan, I have got all the documentation which you send me. I've got pictures of the two children until I sent an investigative journalist to Australia, private, to follow her up, and there was one child. Not two. So where did the other go? So if you can really say to the world, I've got twins, I've got two children, and then suddenly you have one, and you cannot explain where the other went. My twins, something happened. Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? So some of these things that we tend to ignore are very sensitive. I was intimately involved with Susan. And I warned Susan, that's why she's going to support her, because that moving forward, I'll be sending every screenshot. When the relationship ended, she sent me a lot of pictures. And if I have to show that to the public as women throwing themselves at men, don't say why is the honorable doing this. This whole business of us being a smear com a campaigned and smeared in any way, and when we want to speak, you say, ah, he bends. Bends, no, no, peace, I'm mushak. Mushiti bends. Manje nini, kwedu ti no, ti no ranga ma bends. Ti riva ranga ma bends. So we cannot have a situation where as and when it fits you, you want to expose the politicians for abuse. And then you tell them to keep quiet. There's no quiet diplomacy where, as a legislator, you are being accused one. The not a legislator, aka rarane mwana ne form two, aka mitsa numbu, aka fa. Zitari mwana wachu, amuziwe. But you an advocate for abuse, so if you can, strongly and courageously speak about being uh, 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 abused by the president, why then can you talk about others? Because in the work of our habit, in the work of our habit, we have complaints about the work of abuse. You are championing abuse. So what is the name of the girl in Otto? What is the name? What are her parents say? They are running scared. But you are exposing the president, the number one uh, citizen, and you're not scared. Yet a, a family not on which you allege the only me member, parliament member, this one, uh, uh, slept to the form two, abused and so forth, and the girl died. Akavi Kwapa, still like Indian. And then we go towards elections, you plant people to then on the rally say, but honorable member, uh, we want uh, to ask you a question. We have read your manifesto and everything. But there were allegations that you slept with a child who was form two, who, who, who you made pregnant, was aborted. We want to know how safe are we with our children, with you being a member of parliament. You cannot say, ah, don't worry to Susan. That's why I'm dealing with issues step by step now. This must be on record that I challenge her to name the people the girl, the family, where she was buried, where they stay, and help them. Anonymously put the name of the person. You don't have to even, uh, what you call it? Put it there on tweet, find somebody to say, stand the ear, honorable investigations are done. But you cannot soil our names. And then you do, there's no other side of the story. And why have people not said, okay, uh, how then can we get this? Can we get to the bottom of this? The great thing about social media now you are able to defend yourself, you know, and you are able to put a position. Because no, 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 no. I don't do that. I, I'm very clear about who I date. I'm very clear about my choice of women. I've already said that I don't date. My daughter is is 32. The moment that I realized Susan was close to my daughter's age, but or two years older, I cut it. Because I don't date uh, uh, that age. I don't. I've never. The children of my mothers are way over that age. Because I have this particular taste of mature women, 35 and above, with children. Because it's an understanding. I don't enjoy single women because I've got 19 children. When I say I have to go and see my children, she wants somebody full time. I can't. And that's how it's like. And that's reality, I'm telling you. That is reality. 
ndo da wanu zia wana wakana nda kushopa abuti ah ene wana kushopa kana chishopa anu zia tindine wana and so forth wana wangu chingetua because that's all I have so ndo da wangu anichi miru chia umai ya nuta aga umu anichi miru chia ubaba in the muno wana wana mufambila nderi so I'm very clear about that I think uh, I now getting to the evidence of this Susan alleges she was involved with Honorable Musan. Honorable Musan is my Musukuru. I went to him. And I said, Musukuru, tell me what has been happening. And uh, I told him, you must tell me. You've got a family, and uh, this does not all go well with you. Muniwa Musukuru. Muniwa Naska. The same as the president, the same as a number of members of parliament and mentioned, and so forth. There are far-reaching consequences on these issues. Tomorrow, this information will be used against an parent. Tomorrow, don't you know about our narrative form to Chibaro? How does one wangu, unzawa zukuru kumba wangu, it is in the history of So let's not take this lightly. That's the reason I'm saying it has nothing to do with the president. This, the, there are far-reaching consequences in terms of families. This breaks families. And we cannot allow that to happen when there's somebody who we know is not credible. So here with me, and I'll show you my thing. I have Susan's messages to Honorable Sam. First of all, on the 6th of December 2020, she said, you dumped me because of fake rumor. Honorable Sam responded and said, I did not dump anyone. Please, so I'm your friend. This is communication. She name drops, and I have communication. This is, don't name drop. Don't name drop. There's no point of name dropping. And my communication with her, like I've told her, when she keeps talking, you'll be, you, you will, I'll just be throwing on tweet every chat we've had until we get to the bottom of it. So that we know the individual we are dealing with. So that Zimbabweans remain focused on what is important and not what's not important. She goes on, even in terms of as being more, I mean, so rest in peace. Why do you talk about somebody who's dead when you know there's no defense? Why do you want to implicate people associated with as being more? No one can respond. So why do you choose to run you know, that race on your own? And you end the race and you say you're a thing. Big names thrown, she's able to forward you fake messages, this is what he said, and so forth. But we move on. This is what I have for you, which is important, which I want to read out. This was sent by Susan. One, I asked Oribom Sani that I'm going to go ahead, and Susan has a right to sue me in terms of my source. I even asked Oribom Sani to forward this to my phone, and he has done that, and I'll show you, so that... There is empirical evidence, not just hearsay. Not her saying, no, I did not say this tweet, her number we've got. So we are also, and I'm also challenging her, that if there's anything which I have said which is not true, we challenge you. I'm sending the same information to the Queensland police again to say this character who reported this also said this about the very same people she reported against. One, she says she's abused by the president. And then after being abused by the president, she's also abused by Owen uh, uh, Mood and Mood. But she does not file a report on Owen Mood and Mood, but files a report on the president. Some of these things are quite internal issues within the ruling party themselves. And you know, everybody in the ruling party it did not have the capacity to respond to this. That's when you realize that there is no propaganda machinery in that party. The spokesperson of the party talks about birds and, uh, and trees also make love, more or less confirming that it happened. <laughs> you are not at all doubting the credibility. They need to come to us for propaganda lessons next time. You go for the credibility of the person, not what happened. And let people judge, did it happen or not? So it's dead, but for the nation, we cannot equally have a situation where the number one citizen he is made when we believe that we have evidence to say, but ah, this is not true. Tomorrow it's Jamisa, for example. Tomorrow it's Monzora. Tomorrow it's this one being president. And we cannot now have a culture of having a situation 
where the number one citizen is made on issues which don't matter, which have no credibility. So I'm very clear about that. I will defend the office of the number one citizen. I will defend the government. I will defend the people of Zimbabwe as a legislator on issues which I believe are not factual or identified. At the same time, I will criticize them when they're not doing what they have to do and so forth. I'm patriotic, I'm nationalistic, our approach is, is different. I don't need a brief, I don't need to talk to the president. I don't need a brief to defend my country. I don't need a brief to defend my country. But it shows politics in Zimbabwe and we all are quiet. We are going towards elections. They want to throw it there. So this is what Susan had to say. What hidden motive are you talking about? If I didn't want you, do you think I would have sacrificed my time, accommodated you in my life, and even given you uh, the extent of cleaning your house and wasting your uh, delicates? I did so out of love, but I'm hurt. I'm heartbroken. I never thought it would come to this. I'm not with SB, nor is he the father of my child. Take note. I'm not with SB, nor is he the father of my child. So that you know those who are following, this is the communication between Usani and Susan, which I will let out so that you follow the trail. Before this, there's a communication, but for the interest of time, we want to go straight to the issues. He's even shocked that you would stop solo and listen to gossip. In life, when my dad passed away, the president and SB took it upon themselves to educate me and my siblings. Because Takarambwa, this. People kept on saying they couldn't afford to look after us. My dad's relatives took everything when he passed away, including the clothes that my father had bought for us. And I am forever grateful to this man. I wouldn't be the woman that I am today if it wasn't for E.D. Nangako. S.B. and Muda. That's my life story. Andina Che Chandakaku Wanzirai. People talk of people talk of course, but don't talk about I was a charity case and God sent angels. Today the man that you're accusing slept with you. And you called an angel, today he slept with you. The credibility of the person. The president was an angel. But in no time, you then say, he abused me. So when did the angel become the abuser? Angel. And I am abused, and I speak afterwards. And now we want to find ways. The scientists they want to find ways to know. You know, I sent one on Twitter the other day, where she sent me a message with my virginity, I lost it to SB. And then people then defend, but no, uh, virginity is virginity. You, 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 you can lose it uh, when you're abused. And you must say, it, I lost my virginity while I was abused. It cannot be thrice or five times, eh? When you lose it, you lose it. And it's an emotional beat of life that you lost your virginity and abuser. So you say you are sexually abused by the president. And then later on you then say, I lost my virginity to SB Moy. How many years after? So you are telling us when you are abused by the president, what abuse was it? Then you then need to talk about the abuse. So we need to be very clear 
when we were dealing with this. I was a charity case. I only have two siblings, one brother and one sister. And we're doing okay now. Nevzi Shoma, Israel, we are managing. I thought I had found a home for my heart, my everything, my help, the love of my life. Watch this, my help. So when you cease to be involved with her, when you cease to help her, she attacks. <laughs> so it's a trend. It's a trend. When Lisa says, I don't want you are in my apartment, you must go, she attacks. So there's a trend of Kanawarangwa, you are emotionally and you find stories. So when you are now analyzing this, and I wish I was a lawyer representing one of these people, I would tear apart in court to say you're very inconsistent. <laughs> and inconsistency breaks even what could be a solid case. So, I had found home for my, my everything, my hope for the love of because we clicked instantly, but Andina Kuti, the devil would destroy our union through these false claims. This I'll give to you. I'll show you in my phone so that you understand the charts which are there from Honorable Musani's phone. And I told her that I am going to do this if we are sued. Can I get that from you so that I show before the court? who the source was. This is Honorable Musani here. The Honorable Musani, he sent me Saturday, and these are the messages he forwarded to me. You must appreciate this level of investigative journalism. Top drawer stuff. You must appreciate it. Uh, top drawer stuff. So I will give this to you. So the summary of this issue is very clear. Susan was helped by the president, is grateful to the president. The president is an angel. The president is an angel. The president is an angel. <laughs> the president is an angel. I think if the state owned media was here, they would love it to be a good headline. Susan says the president is an angel. <laughs> you know, and uh, the story comes after that. So that's information, and I think this really closes the chapter on many issues of Susan. If Susan decides she wants to move on, I'm going to reveal everything, even pictures, which I need to send, throwing them at me and me not being interested. If we have to get to that, to make sure that our credibility is intact, we will. I will do anything to fight for my credibility. I've got children. One day they must see this. Our father defended his position. If there's anything that can destroy a man, you know, are women, but women who will abuse you, who will come up with claims of being raped, being abused, and so forth. It's about time that we take this more as a gimmick, and yet it's a serious matter. And those who are seriously uh, affected victims are now losing out because of us giving attention to those who don't have credibility. That's why in Parliament I said there must be a law when we talked about women being abused, the rape people being given so many years, I said, the very same must also be extended. Any woman who lies about being raped must also serve the same number of years which uh, you give to one who is raped because the uh, 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 idea was for you to go in for that long. So we, we, we did that in parliament and I moved for that law that any woman who lies that they've been raped by Temba Mliswa and the court see that you've not been raped, automatically you are the one who's going to jail for 10 years. Because we cannot continue on this trajectory and thinking that men are weak and they cannot be abused. Everybody's weak. Everybody's vulnerable. Everybody's weak. Everybody's vulnerable. 
And we must also appreciate the time of which these reports come through, the cause of it. For those who, I see she also always refers to the, to, the, to, the, to the citizens. Citizens, oh, look at what I'm doing and so forth. If the, the, the citizens believe that their citizens' movement should be about women who take uh, people's wives, then I don't know how many people who join that party. She openly talks about dating married men, and no married woman commented on that. Is that our culture? Is that our culture? Why are we losing our culture? So to me, I thought this would come through, and uh, unlike other people, people said, don't go into the conference, I'm a politician. I'm a politician. I know what will bring me down. The last time you saw, there was a tweet about me infecting a young girl, HIV and so forth. I said, let's go. Let me be tested live so that uh, 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 people sit. I've got these children who are young. Tomorrow they'll read it, they'll be asking me questions. People are different in their approach of tackling issues. I have my own. I want to sleep well with peace. I will not allow my person to be destroyed through lies. I don't. I defend myself. Whether you say to myself, I'm lowering to Susan, uh, you can't say that anymore. Over 10,000 people in Twitter space and you think you cannot respond to that. And you want to ignore that. And you want to exercise uh, quiet diplomas. And we're going to my elections. With my recordings, I can do not go to South and I can do it. Evidence, it could be put in the carry from when we form two and so forth. I am an astute politician. I don't take things lightly at all. So I thought this would be cleared. I think if there are any questions that people might have and so forth, the evidence is here. You will get this. If you want more, I will send you and so forth. And if, so uh, unless the people want questions to read, this is it. <laughs> Are there any any questions? <laughs> yes. Uh, do you think these shots are enough to to be interested? But, but I think let's, let us uh, be, be very clear that these are allegations. In these are allegations. The, the president is not responding. I'm not responding on behalf of the president. But I am dealing with the credibility of the person with what I have. In one minute you say you're abused, the next minute this man is an angel. The next minute you lose your virginity, this person you are. So I'm just attacking the credibility of the person and not the abuse, the sexual abuse charges. They remain. But like any other case, it's subject to, to think evidence. 